Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we defeated the Koopa Brothers and have acquired the first of the Star Spirits, Eldstar, the Elder of Starhaven. He's respected by all others. His power, Refresh, recovers HP and FP by 5. So yeah, we got a summon now. He heals us. Not exactly a spectacularly damaging summoning. In fact, he doesn't damage at all. He heals us. But he is still nice to have on our team. Now, I need to make my way over to Koopa Village. But before I go there, I want to take care of a couple of things here on Pleasant Path. Hopefully, while avoiding all enemies along the way. There we go. Huh. This section seems strangely empty. Hold it right there, Mario. I've been waiting for you. Well, this would be why. I told you I'd be back. Now I'll get my revenge. Here it comes, baby. Check this out. Dua. Mario, I'm talking to you. I promise you, this fight will be much different from before. Who is this crazy guy? What a nut. Interesting thing about this particular scene here. It is one of the few times throughout the game where your partner actually speaks during a cutscene. Usually they're just standing idly by while Mario is taking part in a cutscene. So this is kind of interesting to actually see Cooper speaking here. Shut up! You, Mario, of course you remember me! No... What? Darn it! You don't remember me? Listen, you... you big lug. My name is Junior Trippa. Remember it and tremble. After this beating, you'll definitely remember it. Get ready to hurt, Mario. I'm gonna show you a new skill I just picked up. Yeah, check that out. You've never seen anything like it before, have you? Your attacks are useless now. Um... Sure, kid. Whatever you say. Youch! Who knew that Mario had such battle skills? Grr, it's not over yet, though. Yeah! Yeah, you're pretty much hosed. See, not only do I have a strong attack now, but I got timed hits. I'm gonna punch your lights out! And by the way, this is basically the whole fight. He, he doesn't have any other attacks. He doesn't even power up like he did the first time we fought him. He's just gonna jump on us over and over again. I mean, why not? Works for Mario. Here, let's try out this new summon we got. So, refresh. It uses up our star power, which is up there flashing under my health. Yeah, definitely no Final Fantasy summon, I'll tell you that. Still pretty cool, though. Well, pretty useful, anyway. Not necessarily cool. Tell you what, Junior Trippa has plenty of health in this fight. 
as a reminder, I'm not tattling any of the bosses in this game, because I kind of want there to be sort of quasi-suspense, not knowing how close we are to winning. Uh, as long as we're here, by the way. That's Junior Troopa. He used to boot us out of the forest near Goomba Village. He thinks he's pretty tough. As far as I can tell, he goes around picking fights with people who are stronger than he is. Talk about dumb. His hobbies are working out and ordering stuff by mail. What? It sounds... okay. Actually, kind of sounds like a wily e. Coyote situation there. Missed opportunity to take advantage of a wily e. Coyote situation, though, because his mail thing does not actually come into play throughout this adventure. That would be neat. I would like to be able to see what sort of contraptions he would possibly be ordering. But no, he just does basically, hey, now I'm going to do this slightly different thing. I believe I want to heal. So I will heal. Okay, so, some dialogue changes here in town. Let me go over my notes to figure out who it would be interesting to talk to. Let's start with this one. By the way, I heard a rumor that Princess Peach was kidnapped recently. I hope she's okay. How many times has she been kidnapped in her life anyway? It seems like a lot. I definitely find it interesting that they acknowledge how often Princess Peach gets kidnapped in this game. I remember Cooper used to always talk about traveling the world as an explorer. Going with Mario is a great chance to travel, isn't it? Make us proud, Cooper. Okay, I know Junior Troopa has told you to shut up, but that doesn't actually mean you need to shut up. Bombette! You're safe! Oh joy, I was so worried about you. Mario rescued me. No, oh, sure, Bombette actually responds. So I figured the least I could do was help him even the score with Bowser, King of the Koopas. Good luck, Bombette. We bob will always be- uh, all be wishing you luck. Bombs away! I decided to stay here with my friends for a while. It's a nice place. Thank you, thank you, thank you! Way to beat the Koopa Brothers! Now we can all live in this village in peace and harmony. Freedom is glorious. I feel so very happy, surrounded by friends. We salute you, the bomb Gimme. I'll go to that blue house when I get ready to leave town. Alright, who else? Okay. What will we do if those fuzzies come back sometime? That's not a question, I'm just stating the obvious. They might take our shells again! Those rascals! How strangely thrilling! Oh, my heart. Hey man, whatever thro floats your boat. Do you know Mr. Colorado? He's one of the bright lights of Koopa Village. He's a professor of archaeology, don't you know? We haven't seen him back here since he went to Dry Dry Desert to study some ruins. Oh, well what a coincidence! That's where we're going to be going. I don't see why we can't live in this vacant house. It'd be awesome! We've wanted our own house for the longest time. But I guess we might have a problem if the owner of the house comes back, huh? We could always go back to the fortress, I suppose.
He's in love with Bombette. But she doesn't like him because he's so persistent. Love is complicated. Sigh. Bombette. I worry about you constantly. Double sigh. Bombette. You're... You're joining Mario's adventure? It's really lonely without you. My heart will break if you go. Please, I beg you. Take me with you wherever you go. One bomb bomb is enough. You should stay here instead. Take care of the village. Oh, you're so cruel, Bombette. That's not really cruel, no. Alright. It's been long enough. Let's talk to Chuck with Quizmo. He's Chuck Quizmo. He tries to quiz anybody who speaks to him. He pops up in various towns and villages, but that doesn't mean he's easy to find. What do you think his deal is? Personally, I'm a little more interested in his assistant. She's cute. Weren't you talking earlier about how you didn't find Toes that cute? And that is what her assistant is, a toad. Co-wiz! Chuck Quizmo is the name, and quizzes are my game. You want quizzes? I got them. If you can manage to answer my brain-busting questions correctly, then... Yeah, yeah, yahoo! I'll give you a star piece. Want to try a quiz? Yeah! Then let's go to the question. Question! What is the name of Goombario's younger sister? Um, Goombek, Goombalina, Goombaria. Correct! Congratulations! Here is your star piece. You've correctly answered one question so far. Good luck next time! Well, well. So long, farewell, till we meet again. So, thus begins an interesting little subquest. He'll be randomly spawning in various towns throughout the adventure. It's actually not that difficult to make him spawn. In fact, I could go back and forth between this transition right here, and eventually he'll appear in either this half of town or the other half. Okay, for real this time. Oh, welcome, young fella. I'm the elder of Koopa Village. Folks call me Koopa Koot. Say, might you do me a favor? Sure. Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Well then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but... Perhaps just one little one? Could you borrow the book Koopa Legends from Colorado? I'm certain if you were to ask Colorado's wife, she'd lend it. If it isn't a trouble, please go there as soon as possible. You promise, young fella? And so it begins. I'm gonna need a drink for this. I think my husband went to Dry Dry Desert, but who knows. I wonder what he's doing now. I swear. I send him letters, but has he written back even once? Of course not. Honestly, I don't blame him. For reasons which we will get to eventually. Oh, do you need something? You're doing an errand for the Elder, are you? Hmm, right, Koopa Legends. Yes, my husband owns that one. Of course you can borrow it. Don't let that old coot work you too hard, okay, Mario? He's known to do that. He's also a bit short-tempered. Well, anyway, wait here for just a moment. I'll go poke around my husband's bookshelf. Found it! You're talking about this book, right? It's all yours. It was behind the bookshelf. That's a strange place to be keeping a book. It's strange, that book. It has all these pictures of shells and exercises. Firmer shells in 30 days? No, that's just the ads.
great galloping Goombas! You're a lifesaver, Mario! This is just what I needed. Hehehehe. <laughs> to show my gratitude, I'd like to make a gift of this. Oh, you don't have to be so poli polite, young fella. Take this. Yay! Oh, what luck! You came at the perfect time, young man. Could you see your way to doing me another favor? Yeah. Oh, how kind, very kind of you. Guess younger generations is so bad after all. They don't usually ask for favors, but lately I've been sleeping poorly. I'd love a sleepy sheep to help me catch a little shut eye. There should be a shop in Toad Town that sells them. If it isn't a bother, hurry up and get one, alright? You promise, young fella? Aw, oh, man. I had a sleepy sheep, but I'm pretty sure I used it in battle. Yeah. Well, dang. I didn't think I'd have to make a trip to Toad Town this quickly, but I have to make a trip to Toad Town this quickly. Right here is the other spot where Chuck Quizmo appears, by the way. Okay, I'm gonna save because something of importance is about to happen. Oh, I love this song. Doesn't it remind you of a tropical island? Get down! Yow! I was probably supposed to do the yow like, Yow! But that would kind of hurt my voice a little. Also, I hit my hand on my desk. Golden Oldie Station. Oh, I love this song! Golden Oldies remind me of the good old days. Sing it! You know, I will say, it is nice when other Mario games besides Mario 1 get some representation. Okay, let me adjust myself in my seat here because this I need to get comfortable for. I do not need discomfort slowing me down. Information station. But moving on, folks. Ta-da-da-dum! Attention, listeners, because here's your big chance to win. Anyone who takes a cup of leaf to the front of the main gate in Toad Town will receive a surprise gift. Right in front of the main gate, there'll be a toad who looks a bit eccentric. Hand the cup of leaf to him. That's right, folks. You heard me right. The big gate on the west side of Toad Town. That's the one. You've got only five minutes. Hurry up, everyone. Let the game begin. All right. So this is why I wanted to deal with Junior Troopa before coming back to this town. Because he would most definitely delay me past the five minute mark. So would they if given the chance. So I'm going to do my best to avoid all of y'all. And now that Junior Troopa is gone... Oh wait, never mind. Oh, 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 oh. I was about to say, now that Junior Troopa is gone, the enemies are... back. Kind of unfortunate. But I made it. Sort of. I have to go through this cutscene first. Alright, make it quick. Mario! Forgot about this. Mario, Mario, it's me, Twinkle. Remember me? I'm not gonna say no. Don't have time. I heard you saved the Honorable Star Spirit who was captured by the Koopa Brothers. Bowser and his gang are so angry about it. I knew you'd be you could do it, Mario. You're on your way. Yes, I am. Please leave. But enough celebration for now. I come bearing important information for you. It seems that the one of the Star Spirits is being held captive somewhere in Dry Dry Desert. Bowser wrote it in his diary, some place called Dry Dry Ruins. The princess behaved brave the dangers of the castle to get you this clue, Mario. She went through a secret passage and read a diary. If we, if we find out anything else, I'll hurry back to tell you. I have to go back to Her Highness now. She's so brave. I hope this news helps. For once, I'm glad my partner does not have anything to say about the situation. Okay, I have just enough time to tattle the person that we're trying to reach. That's the Toad who hands out prizes at the radio trading event. If you take the item mentioned on the radio, he'll hook you up with a rare item. You really should participate in the trading event, Mario. Well, what do you think I'm doing? Hello, I'm the Toad of the trading event. How are you? 
Did you bring the item? You have to kind of remember which one it is. Congratulations! This is the item for today. Use it wisely. See you again at the next trading event. Ah. <sighs> if I could have, I would have put a timer on screen to show how close I might have been. I'm pretty sure, though, that I had at least a full minute left. Okay, do I want to go back to Koopa Coot right now? No, not right now. Trekking between Toe Town and Koopa Village is going to be a bit of a hassle right now. Eventually, I'll be opening up a shortcut, and then I'll continue those. For the moment, though... Well, we're here. We might as well go into our second episode break of the stream. We will be right back. And when we come back, we got more of Toad Town to explore. This town just opened up. <laughs> 